In this step, we're going to continue to expand our colony's infrastructure by placing a new sort of power generator, a chemical fuel power plant. Uh, to this point, we've got a pair of wind generators and solar generators, and these don't consume any fuels. They work off the environment using uh, wind and sunlight, respectively, but they don't generate large amounts of power very fast, and you're kind of at the mercy of the elements. A chemical power generator will consume chemical fuels like coal and oil, and it can generate a lot more power than um, its solar and wind counterparts. But again, the downside is that you have to mine for resources and uh, feed them to the plant in order for it to generate energy. So normally you'll have to manufacture a chemical generator, but for the sake of the tutorial, one has been given to you. We'll use the item placement tool as we always do. I'll click here in the item filter. I'll type in the start of the name, select the chemical power generator, and click OK. One of our colonists will then get to work placing that. And once it's been placed, I'll go ahead and pause the game again. I click on the inspection tool here. Then I click on the chemical power generator itself. And sometimes using the inspection tool, you'll get a variety of options to interact with whatever it is that you've uh, inspected. In this case, we can view the generator info. We can see that there's no fuel present for burn right now. Uh, and so we're going to have to stock it with fuel. And if we want to stock our chemical generator with fuel, we click the stock with fuel button. This will show a list of the fuel materials available. I'll select anthracite coal, which is a uh, high quality sort of coal. I'll give it 500,000 units. I'll click OK. When I go to the orders, um, there, will be a, uh, there will be an order present for transporting the coal to the generator. I'll let that run. One of our NPCs will make his way over. We'll stock the generator. We'll check it out again. When we view the generator info, we'll see now that there is available fuel, and this will give a rating, and the rating is basically correlates to how much energy this will produce. Uh, it factors into a calculation that works with generator efficiency, which is, like everything else in Outer Colony, dependent upon the materials that were used in creating the item. So that's how chemical power generators work. Now that we have this set up, our energy needs are squared away. We'll be able to power these water vaporators running at full capacity, plus all of the other uh, equipment that we're about to place.